Sokotra has been quite an adventure. I came here not really with too many ideas or preconceptions of what I thought the place would be like, although I didn't know it would be super windy. So it wasn't a surprise when we got off the plane and got hit by a wall of wind and it was we had 40 or 50 knots for the first few days. One side of the island in the monsoon season is sort of overcast and grey and the other side sunny and that it blows completely all the time. It's windy. There's sand flying and there's bags flying and there's people trying to hold on to things as they walk down the street. So if you can imagine a place that's that windy, with big mountains, sunny, really hot, with beautiful colours, that would be Sotra. So Crotra would be the windiest place I've ever seen. Just It just blows day in and day out. I can't believe that it's windy like this. And the people, I mean, they put up with it for four months. I don't know how they do it. Drive me just nutty. And I kite if I like the wind. The roads were pretty bumpy and, and pretty terrible really, I've never seen roads quite like it. But it was part of the adventure and we, it meant that you're going slow so you get to take in the scenery and you get to stop and look at the trees and see the birds which otherwise you wouldn't see if you were zooming through on a, say on a highway going 100. We toured around the island, checking out all sorts of different spots until we found a good one and then settled there for a few days and had some pretty good kites down in the south. Till the day they Just nice waves and the wind wasn't so strong. We were out there camping and the sand wasn't blowing in your face all the time and the temperature was a little bit cooler. I really enjoyed that. Some of the highlights for me are definitely are people orientated, like the kids laughing and coming up to you and, and they've, they've really enjoyed it, they've loved the show and you've sort of given them something back for their generosity and for them allowing you to be on their island. They'd be some of the most friendly people I've come across anywhere in the world. And they didn't expect anything, they didn't ask for anything, they totally opened their arms to us and wanted us to come along and just sit with them and be with them for a while. I don't think they give expecting you to give something back. It's just part of the way they are. And I think if, for me, if I can do the same for other people in New Zealand one day, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm helping out and I'm following on from what those people have taught me.